Hey guys, we're back. This is Bo. You want me to do a woodworking video? We're doing it today. So I am currently in the middle of a project making ass loads of boxes. For you guys who don't know, I make probably the nicest Magic the Gathering deck boxes you can get at crossbowwoodshop.com. Look below for a little description for a link. This video is all about stuff you need if you want to start doing woodworking and do it kind of proper. Uh, now, First thing you're going to want to do is I have a video where I built this bench right here. I'll put it in the description below for everybody. Uh, this cost me like 150 bucks to build the wood part. This is just a bunch of construction 4x4s, a sheet of plywood that's been cut up into 2x4 foot size, sandwiched together, really heavy. You want one of these. Uh, very good. Top's replaceable. You can check out the video. Uh, you're going to want to get a vise. Okay, this is one of these quick action Torbjörnsson, whatever. They're super nice because you can unhook it, click it in, super good. 150 bucks, best you'll ever spend. Router table. You want to get yourself a router, but make sure when you get a router, you also get a router table. The router table has to be probably one of the best pieces of equipment I use whenever I'm doing rounding of the corners of anything. Uh, I use this almost exclusively just for rounding corners on my boxes. Uh, makes it extremely safe, really nice for dust collection, which let's talk about. Dust collection. Can you guess how long it took for me to make that much dust? It was about maybe three weeks. And that's because I just haven't been working every day like I used to. But that's 50 gallons. 50 gallons of sawdust. You're gonna wanna have some form of system. This is a Harbor Freight system. You can pick them up for about 100, 120 to 150 dollars, depending, you can get them on Craigslist as well. This is just some four inch PVC piping that goes into different tools like this one. You will want one of these. Get a table saw. Don't get a crappy table saw. Don't get a great one, but get a good one. This one was like $400 on Craigslist. Uh, the only thing that's kind of weird about it is the fence is a little bit wonky, but not too bad. You can actually work with it pretty good. Uh, for the majority of the stuff that I cut, I'm not putting a lot. You don't want to ever put like so much pressure on here, you're warping it anyway. Um, but to fix that problem and ensure that you are safe, uh, you're probably going to want to invest in one of these too. Uh, this is a little dial indicator, and as you can see here, you stick it in here, and it will tell you whether or not your table saw is perfectly aligned and safe. That is about another 60, 70 bucks. You'll definitely want one of those. Um, table saw, great. Planer. You don't need to get a great planer like this one. I mean, I process a ton of wood, uh, but this planer I recently upgraded to a really sexy Helix head, which is a Helix cutting head which if you ever want to get nerdy about stuff, we can get nerdy on that. Uh, it also has a digital reader out so I can tell exactly two five hundredths of an inch how thick my stuff is going to be. Very important when you are trying to make perfectly aligned boxes. This, a jointer. I picked this up for 50 bucks. What you use a jointer for is, is to make two parts, two sides of the wood square. So if you see this piece of wood, it would be like this, this one side, two side square planer makes this side planer to this side and then you cut that off on the table saw very important piece you definitely want to get a jointer uh, again this was 50 bucks on craigslist it needed a lot of work to get it back up and on and running as far as just like scrubbing off all the uh the the freaking uh rust and stuff but it works great little at least a drill press or at least a bench drill press i don't use the drill press as much as most people would but this little guy works perfect for me it was like 70 bucks on craigslist this a 12 inch disc sander this thing i swear to god is like a big workhorse in the workshop so get one of these if you can if you can find one because it just makes life so easy for making things square and nice totally great bandsaw is optional as you can see i use mine really frequently um, and then from there, I mean, just miscellaneous hand tools, but I mean, you guys kind of could figure out what you'll need based on the projects you're going to make. But I mean, if, if it was the four horsemen of this workshop is a jointer, planer, table saw, and then if I had to pick a definitely dust collection, I mean, with those three, you can do quite a lot of stuff and you should be really, really careful about making sure that you're wearing protective equipment, like a respirator when doing stuff that's dusty. Uh, sanders and all that, obviously. All right, anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. If you want me to go a little bit more into detail, I can certainly do that, but I want to just do a really quick under five minute video about what you'll need to start woodworking. All right, guys, see ya.